Welcome to Nursing Lectures. In this video, we will go through NCLEX MCQ question topic, Medication Administration. Question 1. What is the purpose of performing the six rites of medication administration? A. To ensure accurate medication dosages. B. To prevent medication errors. C. To promote client safety during medication administration. D. To maintain medication documentation. Think the answer in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is Answer, C, to promote client safety during medication administration. Description, the six rights of medication administration, right patient, right medication, right dose, right route, right time, right documentation, serve as a systematic approach to ensure client safety and minimize medication errors. Question 2. What is the term used to describe the process of verifying medication orders against the Medication Administration Record, MAR, before administering medications? A. Medication Reconciliation B. Medication Assessment C. Medication Reconciliation D. Medication Verification Think the answer in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is Answer, D, Medication Verification Description, Medication Verification involves cross-checking medication orders with the Medication Administration Record to ensure accuracy and prevent errors during medication administration. Question 3. Which route of medication administration provides the most rapid onset of action? A. Oral route B. Subcutaneous route C. Intramuscular root. D. Intravenous root. Think the answer in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is. Answer, B. 20 seconds. Answer, D. Intravenous root. Description, the intravenous root provides the most rapid onset of action as medications are directly administered into the bloodstream allowing for immediate absorption and distribution throughout the body. Question 4. What is the primary purpose of aspirating before injecting medication into a subcutaneous or intramuscular site? A. To prevent medication leakage. B. To assess for the presence of blood vessels. C. To minimize pain and discomfort. D. To ensure proper needle placement. Think the answer in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is. Answer, B, to assess for the presence of blood vessels. Description, aspirating before injecting medication into a subcutaneous or intramuscular site helps identify the presence of blood vessels, reducing the risk of inadvertent injection into a blood vessel. Question 5. When administering medications via the intramuscular route, which needle length is typically recommended for an adult client? A. Half an inch. B. One inch. C. One and a half inches. D. Two inches. Think the answer in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is. Answer. B. One inch. Description, a 1-inch needle is commonly used for intramuscular injections in adult clients, considering the muscle thickness at the intended site. Question 6. Which action should the nurse prioritize when administering multiple medications to a client? A. Administer medications with the highest priority first. B. Administer medications according to the client's preference. C. Administer medications based on their compatibility. D. Administer medications according to the healthcare provider's order. Think the answer in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is. Answer, A. Administer medications with the highest priority first. Description, administering medications with the highest priority first ensures that critical medications are given promptly addressing immediate client needs and optimizing safety. Question 7. 
which Medication Administration route bypasses the gastrointestinal tract and is commonly used when the client cannot take medications orally. A. Intravenous route. B. Sublingual route. C. Rectal route. D. Transdermal route. Think the answer in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is. Answer, A. Intravenous route. Description, the intravenous route bypasses the gastrointestinal tract and directly delivers medications into the bloodstream, making it suitable for clients who cannot take medications orally. Question 8. What is the primary purpose of documenting medication administration? A. To track the client's medication history. B. To comply with legal and regulatory requirements. C. To provide a reference for future healthcare providers. D. To ensure accurate billing and reimbursement. Think the answer in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is. Answer. B. To comply with legal and regulatory requirements. Description. Documenting medication administration is crucial for legal and regulatory compliance. Providing a record of medication administration for accountability and continuity of care. Question 9. What is the recommended action if a client refuses to take a prescribed medication? A. Document the refusal and inform the healthcare provider. B. Convince the client of the medication's importance and insist on administration. C. Withhold the medication and administer it at a later time. D. Offer an alternative medication without notifying the healthcare provider. Think the answer in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is. Answer. A. Document the refusal and inform the healthcare provider. Description. When a client refuses medication, it is important to respect their autonomy, document the refusal and inform the healthcare provider to determine appropriate actions or alternative options. Question 10. Which action should the nurse prioritize before administering an oral medication to a client? A. Assessing the client's ability to swallow. B. Checking the expiration date of the medication. C. Reviewing the client's medical history for potential drug interactions. D. Shaking the medication bottle to ensure proper mixing. Think the answer in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is. Answer. A. Assessing the client's ability to swallow. Description. Assessing the client's ability to swallow is crucial before administering an oral medication to ensure they can safely and effectively take the medication. Thank you for your time. Subscribe for more videos.